We rolling? We just did that four shot video. Look how look how pissy is we're even doing this. So we're gonna take everything out of the box so I can put it back in the box and take it out of the box again. In and out, in and out. So K Shin, you get your wish. We're doing another Krauss front end because we do a lot of these performance suspension upgrades. We did one uh, a while ago on a 120R road glide, and then we it was on the bike that we just featured, the four-shot bike, but we didn't really talk about it, so now we're going to talk about it. So this road glide right here, it's got the stock suspension components on it, stock Harley, and we're going to do an inverted Olin's front end, we're going to do rear suspension, we're going to do Behringer brakes, carbon fiber wheels. There's actually another video on just the carbon fiber wheels and the benefits of having them. And believe it or not, you make more power when you put carbon fiber wheels on. See, this is why these videos take so long. Because everybody's like ready to do a video and then they disappear. The guy goes in that receiving weapon. Ooh. Ooh. So these are extremely technical shocks. And uh, I would tell you about it, but that would break our own law. <laughs> we have a law about not really actually explaining very much of anything because it's super funny when people get upset that we don't actually explain how this stuff all goes together. That's why I gotta go to school. You get paid the middle bucks. Well, I thought it was so you could read. No. You get paid the middle bucks? <laughs> so these race trick brake rotors are pretty badass. The uh, thrust load transfer points are all parallel, so it gives you tenfold increase on the, the uh, surface area. The uh, floater buttons are all non-load bearing, so it precisely controls the radio and axial float. And then there's a whole bunch of other technical stuff that goes into why we use race tech brakes, but it's because they're really good. We got the Olin's rear that we already went over, these Olin's cartridge front front forks, super badass, and they're black. It's, uh, Krauss is one of the only places that they actually designed the black one specifically for him, for his setup. He's done a lot of work with Owens themselves on setting these up specifically for the, uh, the loads and the weight transfer and everything for the Harley Davidsons. It includes his triple trees, which are all billet. They're much stronger, so it eliminates any kind of flex, you know, all the good stuff got the the riser dampers so what's cool about these is the the actual riser dampers are in the top and not on the bottom so it's a solid mount to the tree and your vibration dampening is at the bar other nap you know all the good stuff so looks like uh, we finally got this cat stowed away for the day so he can get started and we'll be back in a few minutes he is a handsome devil. Did you know he's a criminal? You wouldn't know it by looking at him. But he's straight up gangster. So we put the uh, the forks and the trees on and got started on the clamps. This is all easier to assemble before you put it on there. And it's pretty easy, huh? I mean, it's it done a good job with engineering. It's basically OEM plug and play. You know, you replace your bearings and races, of course, bolt everything down to OEM specs. And I've always, I just think it's easier to take the whole fairing off because we're gonna need to extend all the wiring and make all that look pretty and how we're gonna run it all. It's just easier to do without the fairing in the way and then put the fairing on at the very end because the nacelle doesn't go back on. This is run bare. The instruments are gonna be up here. So I think you've been given the power by the gods if you snap your fingers, I think we'll move to the next part of the video. Try yeah. it. Didn't, no, it didn't do anything? It didn't work. See, we're still here. All right, I'll do it. Now we got her done. Just gotta go over the project now that it's finished. So I can tell everybody, tell all you, all you fine, 
fine viewers of the YouTube and all the different components we've got on here. So we did the cross front end. You know, we do a lot of these, so um, they're featured in a couple of our other videos. One of the things that, that this customer opted for is the straight risers instead of the pullbacks. So you have the spacer piece that pulls the riser back so you can get a straight up kick and you don't have to have the spacer in the, in the dash, in the uh, instrument cluster to run them in this configuration. Which is our, we got the red bars happening, got the sweet ass PM grips, sweet ass. And another cool thing about this one, and one of the reasons we, we wanted to feature it was he has a tour pack, a detachable tour pack that he can put on here. So running the, the piggybacks on the top, which is pretty standard, isn't going to work. So we mounted them onto the front, in front of the bags, and we added some paint protection to make sure that if they vibrate, they won't rub through his, through his, uh, the paint on his bag or on his side covers. And you know you set them up so they don't protrude past the bike, and it's just super sharp looking. And then you know we got them carbon fiber wheels because everybody but Big Bear Choppers loves carbon fiber wheels. I'm not digging up Big Bear Choppers. <laughs> just we had a bunch of comments on our last one saying Big Bear said don't run them. I don't know. I haven't experienced any issues with them. We've been mobbing twisties, straightaways, whatever, and we haven't had any problems with them. So uh, I don't know. If you're wearing those gloves, you can handle some stuff. You just wake up and there's like this warning label that says California is known to the state of California to cause cancer. Yeah, there's everything in it causes cancer. That's why we're outlawing everything. Straws, you name it, you can't have it. When I went back and and uh, for, the, for my brother's wedding, you know, I first got there and I was like, oh man, I miss California. And then we went and had breakfast at this little diner and it was 90 bucks and I was like, I remember why I left California. Yep. Erica goes, well, they have real maple syrup, but it's $3 extra. And I was like, yeah, remember? Remember why we left? 